Hello, it is Fishbowl Geek, and I am back with Mark Shepard, Caden Lenko, and the unfortunate Jenkins. And we are, yeah, we're going to get some action. This is uh, Eden Prime. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Let's have a look. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's like an early game in any RPG. You obviously go for the uh, er early game. Everything's super important. Might as well give Caden some shields. Okay, let's just uh, carry on. Look how gorgeous this game is, man. It's even got a photo mode. Uh, which I, I love a photo mode. Is that directed at? Oh. That's what it's definitely directed at. It's a single bank put. It's the body of somebody. Very unfortunate. Absolutely, we'll take that little level up first. I'm going to stick one point. No, I'm going to stick all three points into Vanguard. Oh, button. Um. Oh, just left it. So, yeah, you can get one point in Sentinel. We're going to stick one into First Aid. I'm going to try real hard not to concentrate too much on worrying about all the loot. Because yes, everything you, you can hack for the loot does give you XP, but I'm just I'm just not going to concentrate on it. This game gets a bit silly with its loot later on, so I'm, I'm going to try and resist my instincts to hack everything that I can see. If, if there's something I can't hack, I'm going to try it real hard just to let it go and not be upset. They're Geth drones, by the way. Geth drones. They're, they're nothing enemies. I mean, wow. How much they're just like. They're so overrated as, uh, as things here. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. Oh, there you are. Shooting at rock, Caden. Shooting at a tree. Oh, 
Oh, it's grim. Go. Hi, Ashley. Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. Bro, Payback. That's it. You can't actually leave her behind. You have to recruit her, even if you say that you don't want her in your squad. She just joins. You have no choice. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins. And the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the Beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. It seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. He carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. I'm reasonably certain in the cutscene he's literally just carrying, I think, shotgun? Doesn't carry anything else. He looks impressive because he's like a Turian and that armor, but I don't think he's actually carrying that many weapons. Move out. Well, hello, thank you for joining us, Ashley. Uh, we'll get you pointed into Soldier, and then I really want to get you up into Heavy Armor, so we'll go straight on that. Oh, I don't think the scope... Is the scope in any good? I'm pretty sure it's always the Scorpion. What else did I pick up? I picked up, uh, did I pick up, uh, yeah, I did. Um, yes, thank you. Um, I've got a sniper rifle. You can use this. Alright. I think this is more of a yeah, this is where you would need it. Yeah, there you go. It's not popping up, but it wants you to do the combat tutorial anyway. Yeah, 
to you though. And you're just gonna stay here. Damn, it's just not working to the left, who is still staying in that. AI be done. Alright. What do you have to say? I heard that. Yeah, they sure do. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Excellent. I have a look. Change of plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Okay. Uh, nope, wrong one. Squad level up. Uh, we are going to put some... Um, tactical armor, I guess we need some hit points into assault training. I will unlock that. I'll put a point into that. Into that. Into that. Uh, keep leveling up the sentinel, then I want you to level up. Uh, yeah, I want to level up your first aids. Oh, didn't actually need to do that, but it's too late now. Um, no, I think that's actually. It's a shotgun, even though I'm not using it just yet. Why not? Okay. And up the top of the ridge. Oh, yeah, I know it's coming. Do not want these enemies. Look how gorgeous this game is. I just. I get taken aback by it sometimes. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. And that's a generous turn. I mean, hardcore's is having many options. I think, uh... Yeah, hardcore's just below insanity. I don't want to. I don't want to like make a complete stop of playing insanity. No, it's, it's easier than I expected to play on hardcore. Another shotgun, another assault rifle. Yeah, what do you have to say? And, oh yeah, hacking. I hate quick time events. That looks empty. I think you always have access to this. So I don't think I put points into it. So. Fumes. Thank the maker. Hurry, close the door. She said, thank the maker. Oh, I've never noticed that before. Thank the maker. That's like straight out of Dragon Age. Because the, yeah. Oh, wow. I've, I've never noticed that before. That's awesome. And, I mean, I don't even know if that's like a proper Easter egg, but that's like such a specific thing to say. Don't worry. We'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. 
You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Mm, I feel bad for him. I, I don't know if it's like proper canon, but in my head canon, he touches the beacon and his mind is fractured because he's not strong enough to withstand the, uh, the vision that he gets. I think. That's my head canon. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. In, in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He could have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy wide communications network, remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil, awakened the beast, unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please, <laughs> this isn't the time. My favorite part's coming up in a minute. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. <laughs> Just go around whacking people in the head. Oh, I'm sorry, but I just love that. I love. <laughs> uh, I can't help it. It's it was funny. only a matter of time until he did something crazy and dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. <laughs> Ready, game pass. I don't care. It's still funny. Uh, no, you don't. Have here. Oh, yeah, there is something in there. Oh, Legion of Armor. And Heavy Armor. And, oh, Silverback, I can't remember. Is that good or not? It might be. It might be. Right, um... Speaking of Legion Armor... Can you... Uh... Yes, you can equip it! Ooh! Well, it doesn't look terrible. I mean, it looks a heck of a lot better than the, uh, I can't wait to get you a heavy armor. It's a heck of a lot better than the, um, Phoenix. I think, I think for me it's, I, I don't know. It's the shade of pink, I think. It's just, I don't know if it would be better if it was a red, or if maybe it was like grey and pink. The white and pink just does nothing for me. I mean, that doesn't do a lot for me, but I do think it's somewhat better than pink. What else did I... Um, I can't pick up either. Uh, Ashes already got that. Uh, that is... Um, do I like that more? Not really, it's marginal at best. Okay, I think it's right, okay, I picked up nothing else cool. Right, let's carry on towards the spaceport. And we're about to get. Yep, yeah, there we go. Nihilus. 
This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Yeah. Then. I mean, that's just incredible. I wasn't expecting one that does triple shots. Where are they? Oh. Okay. Uh, shall we try a shotgun? I don't particularly want them to get super close to you, but... Oh, great, you can knock that way. Just gonna throw you away. Okay. Just throw. Uh. You can be sabotaged. Alright, nicely done. Not sure I like that shotgun in particular. I might need to put more points into it. Uh, I'm not quite convinced I like the uh, sniper rifle that does the triple shot. Oh! Oh, it's getting people like that. you go? Yeah, see? Pistols are great. And yeah, another quick time event. Let's, uh, let's go. Stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. I don't like the way they say garage. Really don't. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. It almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. <laughs> if there's something you're not telling me. Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. Just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But we'll probably get more use out of it than we will. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. 
I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. Oh, that is it's important. such a reach. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport if he's still alive. I have to go. Good luck. Alright. And, oh. Thank you for that. Let me get into it here. Yes, I thought, oh yeah. Okay, electronics skill too. Really. Fair enough. I mean, it would have been a would have been nothing kind of a thing anyway. So let's go here. I don't think we're in combat straight away. Commander, it's nice. I know it's nice. But we've got a couple more upgrades. All right, let's have a look. Um, I'm gonna. Hammer into that. Uh, give me the details. Ah. Can you not give me the details of what I've got? I right, tell you what. Yes, we do that, and then let's find out what it says about that. Fires in three round bursts and has low accuracy. Amazing. Um, sod it, I'm somewhat tempted to stick with the Avenger, given that the uh, hammer's not that great. Now, I also got. Did I get. Oh, it's just. Oh, actually, actually. I'm going to be waiting. Got a pistol. Oh yeah, look at that bad boy. Advanced military sidearm made by Capcom. Average accuracy when compared to other sidearms of this class, but it's still better than what I've got. So I'll take it. Did I get yet? Yeah, um, combat sensors. So Ooh. Uh, no, I'm not fighting our organics. I'll stick with that. Thank you. Alright. Let's go look at Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? Oh, we've all... We've all felt like doing that a time or two. And hey, maybe we've even been in a position where we could do that a time or two uh, in our lifetime. I bet you've done it, Ashley. In fact, I know what you do when you have a hangover in the third game. If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. 
One minute that ship was descending, the next. Those Geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. I mean, thousands is such a high number for what we actually face. Hundreds I could have believed. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... It was making this noise, this... This sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Your call's contact here on the docks. For the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? Fair. The supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who would want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Forget about him. He's not worth it. You're lucky the commander's here, pal. Hand over those grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up for them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. No, it's not. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's really, it's really not that good, good of a thing. It's just a level one explosives mod. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Yeah, see, high explosive, that's it. Right. Oh, you can hear that combat music, we're about to go into combat, but I think that is probably a good time to have a wee break uh, in the recording. Um, so, this is uh, this has been, been some good action fun. Uh, I'm, I've played this mission so many times, I just love it. I love it, and uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching because we got to see a <laughs> good night, Manuel. It's honestly hilarious. I love it every time. Uh, we also got an introduction to Saren and uh, and oh, Pernilus. He would have been awesome, actually. He would have been really awesome, but um, no, Saren. Saren's a really good antagonist. I, I like him a lot. So uh, we finally got an introduction to him. We're about to fight some more death. But we'll save that for next time. And uh, yeah, yeah, we've got uh, we've now got Katie and Ashley as part of the team. Really, really good, solid core. Um, I'm just excited to get into this whole game. But uh, yeah, uh, anyway, guys, I I hope you've enjoyed watching as much as I enjoy playing as ever. And join me next time when we get straight back into the action with Mark Shepard and uh, finish clearing Eden Prime. Thanks for watching. Ta-ta for now.